Hello everyone. From June 14th evening onwards, I'm going to start a comprehensive course for pharma competitive exams. In this course, I will explain all the subjects with fundamental concepts. The classes will be evenings, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I will deal subject topics. Whereas on Sundays, I will explain paper one, current affairs, quant and verbal topics. The course duration is for four months. The course fee is 2,999. It is very nominal fee. Now the course link is in this description of this video. Just click it uh, to enroll in the course. Again, if you use Sai Rajesh 10 as a code, you get 10% discount for that fees. Now, <coughs> excuse me. In this video, let us see a concept called structure activity relationship. Before getting into that, let us understand a question given in a competitive exam. Look at the question. See, drug used to treat hypertension in perioperative period. Examples, uh, options given are propranolol, etanolol, esmolol, metoprolol. Now, most of the students got stuck with the word perioperative period. All of you must be knowing what is hypertension is. Now understand that word. Perioperative period means during the operation time, during the surgery time. In certain individuals, when heart surgeries are going on, like open heart surgeries, there is increase in heart rate, which may result in hypertension. So the hypertension which people get only during operation time is called as perioperative period hypertension. So the question is asking which drug is used for that condition. See, this is not a long term hypertension. This is for that particular short term. So you need to pick a drug which acts in short term. So technically the question is about which among the following is short acting drug. All of them are beta blockers. Now, when you see the kinetics out of all the four, etanolol is the longest acting drug. It acts from 2 to 20 hours time. Ultra short acting drug is esmolol. It acts only for 10 minutes. So the answer is esmolol. But you need to understand why it is so ultra short acting. The answer goes back to structure. Look at the structure. See, esmolol, <coughs> beta blocker, which contains methyl propanoate. It is an ester derivative. That is the reason why the word ES stands for ester. OL OL is for all beta blockers. So ester containing beta blocker is esmolol. When you have an ester in structure, body has got many ester edges which will break that ester. The moment ester is broken down, it gives an acid and that acid derivative do not have beta blocking capability. So it will not act as a drug. So it acts only for 10 minutes because the ester edges will act on the drug and metabolize it. Whereas, etanolol, see the structure of etanolol, it is an MI derivative. In fact, 95% of the etanolol will not get metabolized because it is already water soluble and it stays for a longer period of time. This is what is structure activity relationship. When you see the chains, aryl oxypropylamine, these are called as, see the both the structures, etanolol and esmolol, both of them aryl oxypropylamine is common. <coughs> Only the difference comes with side chain. At one side, you have amide with etanolol. Again, see, amide is there, so etanolol, it starts with A. Ester is there, esmolol is there. Only the change is at this junction. And that change changes the therapeutic use. This is what we call it as structure activity relationship. There is a relationship between the structure and activity. The best example is this one. 